Hey Willow Vibes tribe members, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and um, I'm just doing a collective reading. I was going to say, it's almost 8 o'clock. Hey, so the last time I, I woke up to share a dream and whatever, it was about the same time. It was like 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm more awake today, but I don't know. I just keep having these fucked up dreams. And... I feel like this one kind of goes along with the last one I shared, which is the karmic situation, you know, the asshats and stuff that are the haters that are hurting people, um, or that are sh throwing shade your way, basically. Ow. Yeah, it must be. That hurt. It hurt my leg. I felt like something bit me. So, anyways, um... Don't let anyone bite you. Just gonna say. But I'm gonna do a reading on this too, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes. I can't remember if I said that. What is going on? Like, I've already burned whatever. I'm gonna burn more because fuck it. Um, like, 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 share, comment, and subscribe. I burn in Palo Santos, but we're gonna burn some sage too. Just because. Um, cleanse this bitch right out, just saying. Bring in all that love and light and positivity. Wow, this is burning awesome. Doesn't normally do that. Ooh, would you like some? Here's some smoke for you. And that's what someone's gonna say to you. I don't know if any of you, you know, you do anything recreational. Ooh, do, 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 or medically. But I just feel like... I'm offering you a smoke. So I don't know what that means to you. But anyways, it might mean different things for everyone depending on your lifestyle. But um, <coughs> maybe someone's blowing smoke in your face trying to get you a little woo. If that's the case, they're not your friend. If you say no, no means no. Um... Don't you love persistent people? It's like when I said no about this, that, or the other, it doesn't matter what the hell we're talking about. It could be like, hey, can I borrow five bucks? No, I don't have it. And then they keep asking. You're like, I fucking said no. Um, or whatever. Or a drink. <sighs> Do you smoke when you drink? Could be some of you out there that only smoke cigarettes when you drink or something. I don't fucking know. Anyways, you're getting psychic hits. But besides that, I don't know what the fuck I'm like. Okay. So, my dream it was more of a twisted fucking something. I don't know what the hell it was. What is that? I've seen that before in the smoke I see weird things in different ways like pay attention to everything around you because even in my coffee when shit swirls a certain way I'll be like oh look it's the bird oh look you know like what does it mean to you kind of thing I don't know for some reason that looks familiar to me and I don't know why Anyway, it doesn't matter. Because um, <coughs> yesterday I was kind of in this meditative state. And it's weird because I saw quite a few things. This might mean something to y'all, so I'll just say this first. But I saw, uh, oh, it's kind of like a smoke heart. You know, like in Alice in Wonderland where the stupid worms like whoa, blowing the smoke rings and stuff. It was like that, but they were shaped as hearts. And there was one, but it looked more like a cloud than than smoke. But I don't know, it started off in a smoky way, but then it kind of looked like a cloud. And it was a heart and it was upside down. Well, it was facing the bird because there was a bird up here like a white dove. And so if you were from the bird's perspective, a bird's eye view from up here, you see the love the right way. But from down here, it looked, it looked upside down. It looked flippity flopped. Well, anyways, the fucking dove flew through the smoke heart. Just kind of soared through it. 
All you need is love, love, love. All you need is love. Anyways, there was that. And then I saw a pit bull. And he had these little sad eyes. And I love pit bulls. They're so cute. And then there was a Doberman Pinscher that I saw. And I was like, is that a Great Dane or is that a Doberman? Because I like them both and I really want a Great Dane. But besides that, in my vision, I saw a Doberman. I'm like, no, that looked like Elijah Blue, which is my dad's ex-girlfriend's dog. I don't know. Well, she passed away, so I don't know if the dog's still around or not. I have no idea. But anyways, <coughs> it looked like her dog, so I knew exactly what kind of dog it was. And they have this, like... It's funny because both dogs, actually, because pit bulls, people, people don't fear pit bulls as much as they used to because they had a bad rat for a long time, and it's all about how you raise them and, you know, whatever, but anyways, any dog, but Dobermans look, look scary. They look like the guard dog. I mean, pit bulls can too, but for some reason, I'm thinking of it, because this is the way it was shown to me, is the pit bull was just like, oh, I want to be your best friend. Please love me. I'll be here forever, kind of thing. It was really cute. Um, but they can be mean, and they're very, very, very protective. So you might have a best friend that's protecting you, vice versa, something. Anyways, fucking Doberman looks scary and it's like because that's the dog like don't you come over here but when I think of my dad's ex-girlfriend's dog that dog was a big fucking baby he was all bark and no bite he turn on the vacuum he'd fucking run and hide like <laughs> so it's almost like the sweet and innocent one you know fuck with my family fuck with my people and I'll freaking kill you. Like, you don't know how strong I am. That's what that dog wants to say. And the Doberman's just like, oh, oh, I got this. I'll whoop your ass. And the second the fucking, the shit hits the fan, they're, they're pissing in the corner crying, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I saw that. And then there was a reading I came across on YouTube. I don't fucking remember which one it was. But there was a pit bull in the card. There's a moon card in some deck. I don't remember which one. And it had a Doberman. It looked like a Doberman pincher and a pit bull in the moonlight. So maybe it's like someone with a tough exterior. It ain't so tough. And then the sweet and innocent one is actually stronger than the other one. But they're coming together at night. I don't know. Or it could be battling it out. What the fuck are the dogs about? We have the seven of candles. Yeah, there's defensive energy. Someone is going into protector mode, just saying, because the shit is, it's going to hit us, the fan is. Anyways, so there was that, and then <laughs> as I'm trying to figure out the Doberman, like, in my vision, I saw, yeah, because what stopped me from looking at the Doberman was, there was this black lady, and she had... I don't know, I saw her pretty clear. I've never seen her in my life. Like, I don't know who she is, but I saw her face. And she had, like, blonde, really, really tight, curly hair. Her hair was actually beautiful. And it had perfect, like, teeny tiny jerry curls or whatever, whatever the fuck you call them. And they were blonde. And you could see, you know, her roots and stuff. <laughs> and she goes, Rah! in my face. And I'm like... What's up with you? Like, why are you being like that? Anyways, so she just didn't want me to look at the Doberman, apparently. I'm like, okay. So, anyways, after she fucking stuck her tongue out at me as being weird, she just kind of floated away. And then, not even joking, I saw myself reading at my tarot table. Like... Because I, I saw a face come into focus, and I was doing this, looking down. Like, this is the angle, like, the way I saw my face. So, it's someone watching me on YouTube. Someone watching my stuff. I don't know who it is. Well, there's lots of you, so there's lots of people that watch me. But I don't know why it showed up in my vision, in my little meditation. But I kept seeing myself. I'm like, okay, why the fuck am I watching me? 
read in my own damn meditation. This is fucking weird. So, anywho, there was that. And every time I would see a person, there was one other person I saw, and she had like dark, long, dark hair. It was kind of curly, but not really. It was more wavy. Um, and she turned and she was walking away and then she looked back as if to like, be like, you know, come here kind of thing. And I was like, I don't want to follow you. I don't like you. But <laughs> I just saw her face. And then all of a sudden I could, all I could see was me. That's it. It was like that bitch went away. And now, I, and I just kept looking at myself reading and I'm like, okay, whatever. So, anywho, I haven't even gotten to my dream yet. <coughs> so, maybe there was someone coming between you and your person, and now they can't get the thought of you out of their head. They can't, like, there's been a swoosh, a swoosh, a change up or something. And, um, yeah, so they're watching you. And if you're a reader, they're definitely watching you. Just saying. And I don't think you'd even realize it. I, f I feel like you know that there are people in your life that do pay attention to you. Or watch your channel. Or watch whatever the fuck you're doing. Because not all of you are on YouTube and not all of you do readings. But I'm talking that's a specific message for tarot readers. For healers who are putting themselves out there. Your person is watching you. Just so you know. Anywho. This dream is just so fucked up. It's like, it's almost like it doesn't want me to talk about it. So this is where it all started. <sighs> there was this red tent in the middle of a fucking parking lot, okay? I don't even know, like, there was like nothing around, so I don't know why there was a parking lot, because it wasn't outside of a store or anything like that that I'm aware of. I didn't see the store anyways. But it was that maroon-colored... Um, it was a maroon colored tent and it was a big fucking tent, but it was the same color as that old, like nineties Toyota car that I was in that I jumped out of in a different dream, which I don't remember which video that's in. It's in here somewhere. But anyways, um, I go up to the tent cause apparently I knew who was in the tent. I don't fucking know. Well, when I went in. The whole bottom of the tent was like a giant mattress. Like a king size bed was in it or California King, something. It was just the whole fucking bottom. And there was a blanket. And it was a crochet blanket that someone made. And it covered the whole bottom too. Like it was a big blanket. And it was red and gray. It looks similar to a blanket that I made years and years ago. But I made mine the one I made was blue. And then the stripes were different. But this, it was almost like red and then gray at the top kind of thing. The blanket. But I knew it was handmade. And I was like, okay. Inside the tent too, it was almost like dumpster diving. And I keep talking about this in the movie Labyrinth too. About, you know, cleaning out the attic. Um, only take with you what you need. Don't get sucked into certain people and memories and whatever's. Don't lose focus. Don't let the, anything like that, your past especially, hold you back. So, and who cares what gets spilled out because it's trash anyways. It's just like a dumpster. If someone goes dumpster diving and finds your fucking trash, who gives a shit? You threw it away. Like, you know, you don't want it no more. You don't want any anything to do with it. So, if they want to bring it to the surface, be like, okay, well, I threw that out years ago. Who cares? So, maybe that's part of that. But, anyways... So we're dumpster diving in the tent because that's what it looks like. And I don't know who the dude was, but there was a guy in there. And he was all over the place, like very chitter chattery, but I don't remember what he was saying. It's like, I don't know if he was trying to confuse me or if he was just chaotic as shit, but he was a, he was just a fucking mess. And I'm like, do you want this? Do you want that? So it's like I was trying to help him. But he couldn't think straight. And he was just like, like... I don't know. He was focused somewhere else. So I ended up leaving the damn tent. And he had handed me a purse. 
which was also in that fucking dream with the red car. So he hands me this little purse. It's like a black purse this time. And it's small. And uh, I put it in a grocery cart. So I set it in the cart. And I start walking up the road. And um, I'm pushing the fucking grocery cart up the road. Almost like a homeless person would do in the city or whatever. But there was no fucking stores around. So anyways, I'm pushing it up the road. And I saw the fire department. And I'm like, ooh, I can park this in here. So I, pu I pushed the cart in. I was going to say I pull it in, but no. I, I pushed the cart into the parking lot. And there was so many cars lined up by the fire station. I was like, I can't put that over there because they'll see it for one. But... I don't want to take up a spot. You know, what if there's a fire and someone needs to park there? They're going to move my cart. So I went to the other side of the parking lot, which had a, I think it was actually like a, a mechanic shop, an automobile place. It was kind of run down. Could have been a junkyard. Who knows? But anyways, there was this one little spot and there was, there was a car here, something else here and a fucking truck. I don't, I don't know. I could have blocked my cart in basically and hid it. So that's what I did. And it wasn't my car. It was that dude's car. <sighs> so I put it in there. And then I open up the purse. And I'm like, I, can't, I don't want anyone to take this. You know, what if somebody takes the purse and then, and then I get blamed for it kind of thing. So I was like, uh-uh. So I opened up the purse. I'm like, who cares about the purse? It's what's inside. So I opened the purse up. And there's fucking money crumpled all up in there. And I was like, whoa. I definitely don't want someone to steal this. So I took the money out. And it was like a big wad of money. And I'm holding it like this. Pushed the car away. And then I started walking back down the road. And I'm trying to organize the money. And there were mainly ones in there. But there were 20s and 10s. And it wasn't like... I don't know. It seemed like a lot because it was crumpled up. But it really wasn't that much. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like when someone has a wad of ones. And then they put 100 on the top to make it look like it's all Benjamins. And it's like... Yeah, okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, so I'm fixing the money, and I look down, and the, it's shiny, and I'm like, why the hell is this so shiny? I'm like, ooh, this is fake money. Someone is counterfeit money, because I was like, what the fuck's that word? So I'm like, shit, someone's fucking someone over. Like, <clears throat> either... He thought, either the dude in the tent thought that the money was real, or that was the sketchy MF who's got some dirty money. I did mention dirty money before. The tips. <laughs> Something like that in that dream. But anyways, be careful. Just be careful with when people give you money. Like, people you know or you knew from your past, just... Make sure everything's legit so you don't get caught up in some kind of bullshit. But anyways. Especially if it's, um, you know, drug related or anything. I don't know. But anyways. I just said that because my nose is getting all fucking again. Yeah. So I'm sorting the money. I'm trying to straighten it out. And then I see this deposit ticket, and it had three transactions on it, and they were withdrawals, so it's like someone taking someone's money more than likely. So there could be, like, some kind of fraud with that, too, uh, for someone. You know, someone taking money out of your account without you realizing it, or, I don't know, something like that. But, yeah, because I feel like it's taken. It's not, it's not stashing away or hiding. Or maybe someone's pretending to save their money and they're fucking not. Who knows? But no, this was taking something. I'm, I was taking it and it was something I shouldn't have been taking. But anyways, I look at the little slip. And there's three transactions. The top one, I don't remember what it said. The second one was $1,200. And then the third one was $3,300. And 12, you know, 1 and 2 is 3 and 333. Three, three. And I did have a dream where the clock said 333. At least one of the clocks did. So, three, six, nine, Dan Ruffin. 
My sucker, tell me one more time, get low. I don't know, that popped in my head. It could be sex related too, <sighs> FYI. It's like, I just want to give this to you because... I, I don't know. It's fuck, fucked up ties there. Figure it out for yourself. So, anyways. I straightened that around and I was like, oh, no. We don't want no part of this shit. <coughs> and when I went back to... Oh, excuse me. When I went back to the tent... The dude had a car. He didn't have a house, but he had a car because he lived in the fucking tent. So he he handed me the key. No. He wanted me to take him somewhere. And I was like, okay, yeah, I can take you there, drop you off, whatever. Where's the key to the car? Oh, my friend has it. I was like, sheesh, okay. So his friend was my friend, too. So I was like, hey, can I have the key to the car? I got to drop so-and-so off somewhere, wherever the fuck I was dropping him off. She hands me the key. I'm like, thanks. Fuck, I start the car up, drop his ass off wherever the fuck I did. And then I parked the car in an empty parking lot. Like, not where the fucking tent was, either. At least I don't think I did. It might have been a little, like, if the tent was here, I parked in a different parking lot on the other side, something like that. So, and then... Um, I gave the key back to his friend and I left, but I was talking to my friend and I think I left with her and she had told me, we, we walk into her house and she told me she was pregnant. She just found out she was pregnant, but it was funny because she said it was her first baby, but she had another one. I don't know. So maybe the first kid wasn't hers or something. I don't know how that works. But anyways, I'm not thinking about it. So she was excited. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm pregnant, you know. Um, so there could be a new beginning here or someone's legit getting pregnant. Who knows? But so she was happy about this fucking pregnancy, wanted me to take her to the doctor's office. So I did. It was a weird doctor's office. I didn't go in there. I don't know what the fuck she had done in there, but everything's all copacetic when we get out, whatever. So I bring her back to her house, and her ex-boyfriend shows up. And he... It's weird because he brought his son, which was their son, but yet this was her first baby. Anyways, he brings the kid, but then he acts as though... He hasn't seen this kid in in a long time. I mean, the kid's only like one, two years old. It's not like the kid's very old. I'm going to say about two years old. Something like that. Might have been three. Three, 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 three. There's a bunch of threes. So there could be third party bullshit tied to this too. But anyways, he acts like he hasn't seen this fucking kid in forever. But he brought the damn kid over. And he's sitting in the living room and playing with, playing with his son. You know, like toys and reading books and shit. He was just sitting there having a grand old time. And I don't know what the fuck that has anything to do with anything. Because then I went into the kitchen. And I was like, I gotta clean this crap up. For some reason, I wanted to either pack shit away because they were moving. Or I was helping them move. But I feel like I was cleaning up to get prepared for this baby or something. It wasn't even my baby, but... I opened up a drawer and there was silverware in there and it was full and I'm like okay and then oh my gosh my nose is getting stuffy again <coughs> and then um on the other side of the sink was another drawer and I opened it and it had the divider for silverware but there was only like two butter knives and maybe a spoon in there or something there wasn't much in there but there was a needle in there and, you know, diabetics use and whatever. It looked different, but I knew what it was. And it had never been used, nothing. It was just sitting in there. And I'm like, well, that's not very safe. You can't have that around a baby, like, or babies, whatever. So I talked to my friend, who was the girl, the pregnant one. And I'm like, what do I do with this? Oh, because in the first drawer, there was one that was a dirty one. And I was like, well, definitely don't want to deal with that. But, um... 
I was like, what do I do with this? I can't throw it out. What if the kid gets it? You know, what if the, what if the children get involved and whatever? And uh, she's like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think of that. I'm like, you didn't fucking think of that? You should have thought of that. Like, I don't know. I didn't, I don't think I did anything with it. I just left it where it was because I was like, I don't want no part of this. You clean up your own damn mess kind of thing. So, yeah. I don't know. That dude wanted another ride. Then I couldn't get the key. And it is what it is. So I just left his ass there or something. But, um... There was more to that. And I don't remember the whole thing. I don't know what happened with everything. But it, that's just weird to me. So, yeah. Let's see what the overall energy is. I don't know what that means to you. It's kind of fucked up. Sorry I talked too long. But... This is kind of the power of fucking three. The number three is very significant here for some reason. Three witchy sisters. And it's a nine. Three, six, nine. Damn, real fun. Could be a family situation. Something to do with sisters. Sister, sister. I don't know, I used to watch that show, almost that movie when I was younger. The power of three. Can you see? I said that in my last, in my karmic video with that dream. When I flipped the mirror around, I said, whatever you send to me, I'm sending back to you times three. Like I said that when I was laying down. Karma. Something's coming in. And you see this. Wing seer. You see clearly clairvoyance. Because look, it's the same. Yeah. It's the same. Stupid thing. It's the same witch in the middle. It's the same person. And it's a 12. It breaks down to a 3. Do you see? Do you see? Time for spirit. Oh, this person's very spiritual. The past returns for a time. Somebody must have two siblings or something. It could be boys. It could be girls. It doesn't matter. Ancient wisdom, 31. That's four, four, five, six. There's more fucking threes in there. Very spiritual. Love is strange. Yes, it is. It's fucked up is what it is. But you see this coming... Or someone sees it coming, but it's almost like when everyone else around you has their eyes closed to the situation, you see clearly. You're like, I see what's going on here. I see what bullshit you're pulling or I see what, you know, I see what this is, you know, I see what we could have. I just feel like everyone's asleep and I'm wide awake. Like, looking at her. And she is wide awake. And sometimes the shit we see as clairvoyants, healers, whatever, energy workers, sucks. It can be scary. It can be painful. Because she's crying. And I have seen a lot of death, I'm not going to lie. And I talk to the dead, but, you know, it is what it is. And sometimes those messages are not easy to hear. Or see or feel <laughs> but anyway so maybe some of you are dealing with that and it's just kind of rough but there's something going on here someone is being the acting a fool gonna make me lose my mind up in here up in here why am i singing all these songs <laughs> gonna make me lose my fucking mind up in here well we have lost ruthless Walking away. What's after that? Pain, emptiness, and distance. Escape. <sighs> Ooh, escapist. Someone's upset that you went away, or you're upset that they went away. Do not walk away from me. I don't know, something like that. Well, you know what happens. So, the power of three... 
Hmm. I just feel like you're seeing through the bullshit. And there is someone coming towards you in a not so healthy way. It's someone that you walked away from. Could be an ex because I was talking about, you know, my friend getting pregnant. It's her new beginning. And then this her ex comes in with the child that's hers but that wasn't hers. Do you know what I mean? So it's like there's already a beginning here. It's not her beginning, but it could be. Someone's going to come in and the past is coming back. It's someone you walked away from. Could be an ex. Could be somebody who fucked around. But I feel like, I mean, they might be coming in and knock you up, plant their damn seed and fucking leave. Like, oh, I want sex and then I'm going to leave. Oh, we have a fuck boy, fuck girl here. This person just doesn't care. <sighs> All right, well, why is lust here? Hmm. I'm thinking of, well, I was thinking of Adam and Eve, but I was thinking of um, Lilith and True Blood. I mean, she's very seductive in this card. Like, look at her face. She's got that vine thing on her tit. Someone's like stalking you. I'm just saying they're obsessed. Um, could be a Libra because then we have the Queen of Swords. I feel like you already know the truth about this person, but they're going to come back a changed person and try to offer you A new beginning and something you already had that you know you don't want that you gave up on. I don't know because you got beautiful things growing. We're coming in for you. Could also be a Cancerian. As someone who's extremely stressed out, I'm just gonna say they cannot get you off of their mind because this is very sexual energy and it's like I want to lower your inhibitions. Oh, just be careful with alcohol. But this is some. This is a person. They don't move on well because they're stuck in time. They're trying to plan something. I keep looking at the pin cushion. So, this person's been doing little things to hurt you. My eyes just went, woo, little things to hurt you. Because that almost looked like heat. Like, you know, in the summertime or just when you're grilling or whatever, you can see the heat and, like, the air kind of waves. That's what it looked like when I just looked up. Like, whoa, do you feel the heat? I don't know what the fuck that is. All right. Ruthless, why is this here? I'll get more and see, but... <sighs> This is not your person. This is someone who wants to come in and be your person. Or they don't want you to be with anybody else, period. For some of you, you haven't seen this person in years. For others of you, they're around. We have the strength card. There's Leo. This person's going to try to overpower you. My will... My will is as strong as yours. It's the whole you have no power over me shit. Because you are divinely protected. But you're somebody... Okay, it's almost like I feel like you're wishing for your person to come in. You're wishing for your <coughs> your new beginning. Your beautiful things. Your change. Whatever. And while you're doing that, this person is obsessed as shit. And they... They're trying to hide just how fucking fucked up they are for one. But they're wishing for you as you wish for something else. So it's like you're moving this way, like, oh, I'm following my dreams. And this person's like, come back, come back. It's that chick. She look back. Could be male, female. This could be happening to your person. Who knows? I just feel like I'm being held down. So she's wrestling the boar, the pig, the whatever the fuck you want to call it. She caught it by the horn, by the fucking snout thing, like... You can come at me all you want. You want to try to stab me with all these needles and your hurtful fucking words? 
someone might be running your name through the gutter, calling you a slut, a whore, or whatever. But it's not the truth. It's like, my past is my past, for one. And even if I did have multiple partners, the, the person who's running their piss flat probably did, too. They're just hurt. And it's like, isn't it funny how, uh... I know it's hurt people, hurt other people, but... <laughs> This is how you know how, what will hurt someone because what they're saying about you hurts them because that's how they feel. So if they're being cutthroat, like, oh, I'm this badass, I'm the Doberman Pinscher. The second you drop any truth bombs about their stupid ass, male, female, doesn't matter. <laughs> they're going to run and hide in the corner because you're going to turn the vacuum on and they're going to be like... I'm not as badass as I thought. So there's their weakness, just so you know. It's usually the weak ones that fucking run their mouth anyways. It's like they say, he's all he's all bark and no bite or whatever. That's what they say about dogs and stuff. That's this person. They just me, 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 me. They have no backbone. And that's why they run their mouth. Walking away from... Sadness, regret, five of cups. This person's upset that you walked away from them. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Masculine energy, yeah. They don't want you to walk away. We're stressed out. They're the ones lurking in the background. Could be a can Cancerian energy with, or just water, with um, Leo. I was going to say Capricorn because I was looking at the devil. I don't know. If we, we embody so many different energies. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, this person doesn't want you to walk away from them. I heard Scorpio too, so that could be in here as well. Whether that's an ex of yours, somebody could have cheated on you. I do feel that because with this ruthless, lustful energy, definitely we have the Eight of Cups again. Walking away. Six of Pentacles. For some reason, I was looking at this as the Nine of Pentacles. So, she's single. So, when someone walked away from you in the past or you walked away from them, possibly because they found somebody else or... Okay, in the past, if this is an ex, somebody fucking was fucking around on you, they left. And they left you alone. They were being selfish. And now, I feel like they want to return because this dude looks a little shocked in the background, like... How the hell are you doing so good? I, I left you. Well, the world doesn't revolve around your ass. Just saying. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. This person's arrogant. And because you are trying to find... Like, you want that uh, healthy relationship to equal give and take. I'm walking to my sunshine, to my clarity. You took control of the situation. You're just like, I don't even want to argue about this no more. I know who my person is, you know... You could be in love with somebody else, or you just know that this person, whoever they are, is not healthy for you, and that is not where you belong, whether you know who the fuck you're headed towards or not. You just know this is not right. Yeah, you ended something. I, I knew I felt Scorpio. It's like we need to change a situation around, because it was too burdensome. Someone wasn't working with you. They weren't working together with you. And some of you did walk away from your actual person because it just wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't balanced. It wasn't fair. So they could be viewing you as being kind of cutthroat about that. Like, why would you just stop talking to me kind of thing? Well, because you weren't moving it forward. Something like that. Justice came in. Libra and energy again. But I also feel like somebody, this is an ex coming back. Say, I'm sorry for all the shit I put you through. All this blah, 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 whatever. This is, you are, they just, I feel like they see, they probably see dollar signs. This person might come in and act as though they have more money than they do with the counterfeit money I saw. Like, like oh, I'm doing just as good as you. We're matched. We're equals. This ex is not your equal, I'm just going to say. They're going to try to be arrogant like that, though. 
this person is plotting and planning to try to figure out how to come back into your world. But the high priest is here. You already know this. This person might live at a distance because I saw the world too, but that's also ending cycles. Anyways, judgment. Yeah. You've already made your mind up. You know who you want to be with or you know where you're headed in life. You know what direction you're, you're headed in for your own wish fulfillment, your own happiness, your own whatever. And it's like... I just feel like you don't want the past back. You just don't. While well, the past is creeping up on you because they're fucking stalking you. They... They... It's like, I want your undivided attention. I want to touch you. I want to kiss you. I want to hold you. I want to fucking ravish your body. I want, I want to rip your damn dress off. I want to rip your protection away. I look at the green dress as protection. Because then he's taking it off. Like, I want to overpower you. I want to have control in the situation. I want to control you. I want to control you. That's what this is. Well... That's baloney and cheese its isn't it? No, no, no. You can take that attitude and shove it up your ass. <sighs> I also feel like someone you're dealing with... Oh, yeah, this person's going to get upset about that. Um, not your ex or anything, but your actual person. I feel like they do watch you, and they might be watching this go down, or they have an inclination that something's coming. Oh, look, there's the white fucking bird. Yeah, you have, your person is watching you, but so are a lot of other obsessive people. And there is someone that is going to try to overpower you. And there was a, um, in a reading I got, I can't remember whose it was, I did hear the word rape towards the end. It might have been Bert, no. Was it Leo? Well, Leo's here, so who knows. Anyways, just be careful. Use caution. Use your discernment. Could be an older dude. Could be a father figure. <coughs> Mother figure, whatever. But this is masculine energy. It's someone who... It's funny because they act like they don't think things through, but they do. This person's very strategic. There's definitely distance here. Because I feel like I need to take control of the situation and move towards you. Someone might be... Someone at a distance. We have Virgo here, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, whatever, Leo. I don't know. We got a lot. Um, I just feel like, how do I get this new beginning? I don't want anybody else to offer it, but I also feel like there is a new beginning on the table here with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because we do have the Hermit here, which is Virgo. I feel like this, this Hermit is thinking about this new opportunity. Like, how do I present this? How do I accept this? How do I move this forward? Because this Hermit does see wish fulfillment with you. They know that this would be a great opportunity and I do feel like they're sad without you. Yeah, they definitely want you. Because then we have the Ten of Cups, the Sun, and the Three of Swords. They're sad that... I just heard they're sad you have options. So maybe they're sad that you're not looking at them right now. But I feel like they want to shed light on why, what's taking them so long. So this person is trying to figure out how to move towards you. And while they're taking their sweet-ass time trying to figure out how to offer this, this uh, map is here. Is either around you now or headed back. Um, because they are fucking obsessed, man. Like, obsessed. Send me that naughty picture. You know, I just want to fuck like rabbits. That's what this per Okay, you're very sexy and alluring or something. I don't know. People, a lot of people are watching you right now. But I feel like the wrong people are, and you know this, because I keep wanting to put this over lust. So you got a lot of people lusting over you. Some people have told you, while others haven't. This is a lot. 
for the majority of you, these are past people. It's an ex of some kind. It could be the father or mother of your children um, who's going to do this crap. Or maybe they have kids, you have kids. I don't know. There's fucking kids here. It's an ex situation. And they want to move towards you. But it's just so that they can get what they want and go. It's, for some of you, it's like, I just want to fuck you and leave you. You know, I'm going to leave before the sun comes up kind of thing. Because I just, I have to have you because I'm obsessed. But then there's also this ex who is obsessed. But they'll stick around because they just want to have control. <sighs> who the fuck are these people, man? Yeah. I just, I feel like for whoever this is for, you see this coming a mile away. I want a little bit more. I know these are love cards, but I kind of feel like this is an X. So what is this lustful bullshit? Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. This person is very playful. I feel like they're just playing around. They just want to play with your body. They just want to touch you, feel you, whatever. Um, but you, you know this about this person. I'm just here to have a good time. But they might tell you what you want to hear. It's just because they're jealous. They're jealous of some kind of success. They're jealous of your happiness. We have communication here. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So this could be someone you thought, thought of as a friend. Because then we have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So there are multiple people involved in the situation. I did mention that before. But I feel like I just... <sighs> hmm. Why is that so ruthless? Someone's lying to you about their situation, who they have on the side, because they haven't gotten over someone. There's closure issues here. I almost feel like I'm a changed man, changed woman. This is the ex. They're not. I mean, like, I almost feel like this person, yeah, you could have been married to them, or th your person is dealing with this fucking snake. I feel like someone's pissed that you set boundaries, that you're being... A good girl, good boy, good whatever. That you're standing strong and you're sticking to your values, your morals. You're not wavering. Someone might view you as being pretty cutthroat because of that. Because they're jealous. They don't want you to move on and have other options. But I kind of feel like there's a hidden partnership here. So if you have an ex that lives at a distance... That person, it could even just be a friend who wants your ass too. They're married or partnered or something. And they might come in and tell you, oh, that's done, I want you. No, it's not done. They're still fucking around with it. Something like that. Walking away. Oh, I've changed. I've grown. No, you haven't. Something like that. I don't know. I don't like it. They're fucking heartbroken that you walked away. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, break up. This could be the ex. Feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah, because we have the five of cups here too. This person's really hurt that you walked away from them. But I also feel like if you had to push your actual person away, I feel like they're trying to find their way back to you. And I did say that before with the hermit and the ace of pentacles. Because that is your soulmate. That is... So that person is upset that you walked away from them. They could be dealing with a snaky energy, but I feel like both of you kind of have ass hats around, just going to say. <clears throat> but they want to apologize. They're trying to figure out how to come in and fix this because they love you. So they're basically reaping what they sowed. So if they weren't talking to you or they were... There was some kind of bullshit communication. It was just really difficult to move forward. You know, the universe is like, well, um, th that's what happens when you play games kind of thing. So there was a lesson tied to this with your person. And they're hurting. And while they're hurting and figuring this out, which I don't think this person would admit that they're hurting. I'm just going to say, at least not right away. 
feel like you just were like, I, I got to break this difficult cycle. I'm going to be honest with myself and you and see ya. Well, you still think about them. You still love them. I thought I just thought Twin Flames, but... Yeah, so while this person's figuring their shit out and they're sad and crying and whatever, missing you, watching you, stalking you, dealing with their their bullshit too, because I feel like they have a ruthless MF around as well, which might be why these two have their eyes closed. Like, this could be you or your person, whoever, the seer, the clairvoyant, whatever. And there's your person. Wait, no, that's not how I saw this before. What the fuck was I going to say? Yeah, I almost feel like it's your person and this other option. Or it could be their option, your option. I don't know. These are just the outsiders. Like, I just heard your person was listening to the wrong information. So, if they know tarot readers, psychics, whatever... Also, and it's not just you, you know, giving them information. I feel like this person could have gotten like a, a reading or uh, something. They were getting some type of spiritual information from an outsider. Not from you, from someone else. A friend of theirs, whatever. I don't fucking know, but I don't feel like it is a friend of theirs. It could be just someone they know, like acquaintance type things. Not someone that they're all like, oh, buddy, buddy with. But whatever. I feel like they got the wrong information because that person isn't a seer. They don't fucking see shit. I feel like they do to an extent, but they're not fully tapped in. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's not for everyone, but someone dealt with that. So what the hell is this? Why are we so heartbroken? I do feel like your person's coming back in, but there is some bullshit headed your way. Oh, they're not feeling good enough, but they are jealous that you had the balls to make a healthy choice and set boundaries for yourself because they've never done that before. So there is some jealous energy here like, wow, I, I, you made this person self-reflect and now they like you. Okay. I think they liked you before. They have feelings for you because their love is growing now that you fucking ended it. Now that you're not dealing with their ass because you didn't want to put up with the fucking these unhealthy patterns. This ten of wands bullshit. It's like, yep, look at this. This definitely could be a Scorpio going. I'm done with the games. Love me or leave me. Boop. You know, that kind of thing. Um, well, they do love you and they're figuring it out, just FYI, because you suddenly cut ties with them and guess what? It really hurt their feelings. They feel a little backstabbed and betrayed. I also feel like they're not telling you that, but I feel like this ex feels this way too because they do not want you to move on. That is my money. That is my success. That is my new beginning. You have something they want. There is a sudden transformation in the situation though. After a long ass wait, after waiting for someone to grow the fuck up and not be so damn selfish. Yeah, you because know, they were hiding their feelings, but I feel like you flipped a mirror on their ass and made them see. And they're watching you grow. They're watching you move past all these hurdles in your life. And I feel like this person is kind of like, wow, you're a strong bitch. You're a strong MF. And they want you, and they're going to chase you, and they want commitment. So, yeah, your person is coming back in. They're watching you. They're still around. And I don't know if they know, but I feel like they do know that there's a lot of people watching you, too. No matter what that means to you. Because, hell, you could just go to the grocery store and turn heads constantly kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? But you got good people, bad people fucking looking at you. And I feel like while you're in this time of separation, while you're not with your person this fucking dickweed or bitch or whoever is going to try to weasel their way in and it's going to be very very uncomfortable for somebody 
I, I just feel like someone wants to drag your name through the mud. So if you were, yeah, because then we have the Seven of Swords. So if you were promiscuous in your past or, you know, who gives a shit? It's your private life kind of thing. But if you slept with this person or, you know, you did whatever. Um, I feel like some people are just going to open their mouths. And some people are going to lie. Because it's funny because I feel like there's a few that might go, oh yeah, I, I slept with so-and-so, like, haha, they're so, you know, whatever, I was the best I ever had, they're so good, or they give the best, you know, what, I don't know, something like that. But there's also some people who are going to lie and say that they did get down and dirty with your ass, but they didn't. You never had nothing to do with them. Be careful who you listen to and who you trust. Because we got these sneaky MFs. Just saying. Fucking lies, lies, lies. And it's all because you don't want them. And they're butthurt about it. So be careful. Yeah, because it keeps coming out. Oh, there's Creepy Creeperson feeding you fucking liquor. Like, I need to get you drunk quicker. Be careful. Some of you, there could be some shit like blackout drunkenness here. Someone took advantage of you or will. That could be what's coming out or this has already happened because this is fucking nasty. And you're trying to, you're stressing yourself out trying to figure it out. Like, did I actually sleep with you? What happened? I don't remember what happened last night. I don't remember what happened whatever, whenever. You know what I mean? Like that type of energy. And it's like, oh no, what's coming? What's coming? Did, did we really? Did we really do that? Did this really happen? Like, that's what I feel this is, too. Someone's going to get you all up in your head or your person up in their head. And it is alcohol-related or whatever-related. Um, so just FYI on that. <sighs> I'm telling you what. Um, just real quick, let's see. My people's person. Oh, I just saw that orb shoot right in. So what's going to come of the situation involving that person? Because, I don't know, this ain't your person. This is something else. Use your damn intuition. I feel like you know your person's coming in. It says, listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Palo Santo, Sage, whatever, Tara, watching shit, listening, doing it yourself, awareness, your person's waking up to this. And I feel like they're, within this awareness, they're seeing, they're seeing a problem. I don't know if they fully know who these problem people are. They might know about one of them, but you have more than one. Some are friends, you know, the frenemy people, acquaintances, we'll call them because they're not your fucking friends. They don't have your fucking back at all. But I feel like your person is waking up to the connection, but they're also waking up to the problems that surround them or you or both of you. Because they have, I just, this is my fight song. Take back my life song. Something like that. The fight song. <sighs> People don't like it when we stand up for ourselves, when we do what's best for us. Just saying. But your person, I almost feel, because I was going to say, your heart is call, is crying out to them. It's almost like an SOS, like, like, please wake up. Please get here in time. Please help me. So don't keep your eyes closed to this. Can't you see? Can't you see? Please see me. See that I'm not lying. See that I'm not phony. See that this shit is bullshit because these people are closed off. Don't shut down to this. They're not. And I feel like your intuition is telling you that. Just gonna say. Freedom. I think it's just hard because you're not with this person right now. But this is you or them, both of you, trying to free yourselves from unhealthy people, places, things. From all these ruthless motherfuckers. It's like just imagining each other together. I feel like they want to fly free with you. It's like, oh. the second you cut ties with this person, if you stop talking to your person, 
that's what got them thinking about you. That's what got them. It opened up. It opened them up intuitively, spiritually. But now they're manifesting you back because you fucking flew free. Yeah, because there's a rebirth here. You guys are starting to fuck over. They're trying to gain the courage to move towards you because they want to grow and expand. Because you've just showed them so much love and compassion. You've been very kind to this person is what I want to say. No matter what. So I'm just going to see what they want to say to you. Say what you need to say. Then I'm out of here. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe they don't know what to say. I need to heat my coffee up though. I do know that much. I wanted to go get a coffee because I don't like the coffee that's here. I gotta get a different brand or something. But um pay attention to the side should I say. So it's like I don't like what's here. I need to get you know, go get a new one. Um a lot of fucking snowing outside. No other compares to you. Bum bum bum. Of course they're seeing this. Finally, what is this person want to say to my peeps. My lips are dry as shit right now. Oh, my face is red. I don't even care. My hair is a disaster. Alright, stop being so mean to your damn self. Someone's looking at their flaws or the, the, uh, the negative side of the situation. Let's get out of negative land. Throw that shit in the trash. And know that you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're good enough. We all got problems. Your person ain't one of them. <laughs> I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Yeah, somebody lied. And now they're beating themselves up over it. So this is part of the awareness. They're figuring this shit out. I mean, obviously, if somebody lies to you, they know they're lying. But they actually feel bad about it. We will be together again. Um, and if you never dated this person, I feel like that's just, we will reconnect again so that we can be together. And I feel like you just know that this person's coming back, that this change, the shift is happening. But there's some bullshit you gotta deal with in between, just gonna say, or them, both of you, who knows. I do feel like it's gonna end up involving your person in some capacity, because either you guys know the same people, or just the fucking gossip trail, you know? Stupid Doberman that won't stop barking, but then, of course, when you go to whoop their ass, they run and hide like a little bitch. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. Yeah, your person wants to go into protection mode, and I was feeling that very protective energy. I pulled that out of the um, Halloween one. My heart is telling me to just do it. So, just do it. That's what they want to do, and I feel like this is all new to this person. Thousand percent. I'll just get one card of these. I can't stop. So once they start, they can't stop. It's just like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop or something. Something like that. It's like you eat the whole fucking um, bag of chips. You know, been there, done that. Especially if we have dip. I'll just go right through the whole thing. So I just gotta stay away from that because once I'm in, I'm all in. And then I'm like, oh. although I don't get full off from that, which is bad because that's empty calories, which means I'm just packing it on for no reason. You know what? I didn't eat all day. So just what it is. That was yesterday, by the way. And yes, I did eat a whole bag of chips and I don't fucking care. Judge me all you want. They were good. They want to talk to you. Or they're listening to you talk. They like your advice. Interested. Conversing more. I want to call you. Not maybe. I'm gonna. A waited message arrives. Text call. Emailing. Hoovering. They're stalking your ass for one. But I feel like listening to you is opening them up. I thought I ruined my nail. But I didn't. We had a good run. I don't know, he's down there yelling. <sighs> so sometimes this is... I'm, anyways, I'm just going to shut my fucking mouth. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. They're seeing a future with you, basically, now that you've ran away. They want to grow and involve... Involve? 
They want to. They want to be involved in the growth in 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 the uh, the expansion, the growth of the situation. They've changed their damn mind because they're listening. That's good. You know, you've been dealing with a fecko person. Just gonna say, I don't know, because you ended it. Now there's a new beginning. I also feel like they're ending shit in their life, too. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. This is the death card. Someone, possibly Scorpio, because with Coffin and Phoenix, that's very Scorpionic, just going to say. Um, I feel like someone followed their intuition and was like, bye. You know, I can't do this. I got my own shit to deal with, whatever. And then they're like, what? So now we're going to rise from the motherfucking ashes. So they want to take a risk. This person could be walking away from a partnership, an ex, a marriage. A, maybe they're getting divorced. I don't know. But I feel like I just see forever in your eyes. In your eyes. The light, the heat. Your eyes. I am complete. I do love that song. But that's... I don't know. I go from singing rap to fucking... That. Well, we're getting rid of the karmic situations, but they're letting go and loving you. Yeah, they're letting go of an outdated situation, like I said. They're also letting... Yeah, someone had them under their motherfucking thumb. So that controlling energy could be on that person's side. I don't know. I feel like you both have ass hats around, like I said. But you set boundaries with this person because they're being selfish. And now that you drop their ass, they miss you. But I also feel like the ex feels this way. So it's a little 50, 50, 16, 106. So yeah, tower moment. Well, that's gone. So now they want to come back in and fix the situation. Um, but there is somebody coming in doing the love bombing bullshit. Because they're a selfish prick. It is a karmic that's doing that because these two wanted to face each other when I threw everything. <sighs> Someone resents you for, for moving on, for bettering your situation. I almost feel like someone's dealing with something extremely toxic that they just, they don't want to cause more problems. But what this person or you don't realize is there's already so many problems and this bullshit's gonna happen whether you're there or not. Like, do you know what I'm saying? This is inevitable. There's some asshole or bitch around that's gonna create problems. But, oh, just fucking pulled my hair. Yeah, they're gonna create problems. Love you a long time. I get the hell out of here. I've been doing this for too long. And um, that's probably what your person's gonna be saying. I've been waiting around for too fucking long. My heart's telling me to just do it because I can't. I see. I see. I see. But yeah. Um, anyways, I love you. Talk to you soon.